Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So the video I uploaded yesterday talking about my hot new yoga girlfriend, and if you haven't seen that video, I put a link for it up above. I asked people in that video of some videos they would like me to make, and one of them was, would you like me to specifically make videos on how you can attract women to have intimate connections with? And someone requested that video, so this is exactly why I am gonna be talking about this topic specifically in this video. So if this interests you, watch it from start to finish. And I'm gonna talk about 10 different ways that I have found over the years from my own personal experience of meeting loads of different women over the years and having these things in place and seeing that they have been very effective for me to attract women. I was never taught these things would attract women. It was just things that I naturally developed on my own journey and it's just how I am. So I just do these things naturally and it seems to have worked time and time again. And I have had so many different intimate connections, some that have been long-term relationships, some of them have just been short connections with them, my girlfriend, but we've connected in many different intimate ways. And there's a lot of men that do have a lot of issues with attracting women. So hopefully, if you're one of these types of men, this can help you start to attract the right type of women that you'd like to have an intimate connection with. And no, this video is not for people to do types of things such as pick up artistry. I've never done that. I think it's sleazy and cheesy and I'm just not into that. All some people are, I'm not judgmental, but it's just not for me at all. If you're interested in just like having one night -like stands, yes, some of these things may work, but a lot of them you're probably not gonna have to do. I've never had one of those in my life whatsoever. I don't, again, criticize anyone that does that, but this video is more about how you can attract a woman that you are really interested in that you may want to have some sort of serious intimate connection with, whether it's for weeks or months or even possibly years or for the rest of your life that you may marry. So yeah, I just needed to make you aware of that so you can know whether this is the type of video for you on how to attract women or not. Number one, be confident within yourself and just ooze that confidence, not in an egotistical way where you're really vain and you're just overly loving yourself where it's just like, ugh, that is just absolutely just such a turn off for so many different women. But when I say be confident, just speak confidently and hold yourself as if you're confident because someone that isn't confident is normally over like this and they're just like all like this. You wanna hold your head up as if you're being pulled here don't have your shoulders rounding over, open up your chest like this, have a straight posture, and just really hold yourself strong. That just absolutely oozes confidence in a way that could be very, very appealing to women. Because women just don't want timid men who are just a beta males and are just very shy. Yes, there may be some women interested in that, but this video is to attract high level women because I only care about attracting the most highest level women person because I'm trying to become the best version of myself. So why would I want anything less than that? So if you do want a female that's not high level, then you don't necessarily need to follow any of these steps whatsoever. But as you know, people, I'm trying to help people create their dream life, get their dream body, their dream job and so on. So I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're like me and you're wanting a very high level woman in your life that can help you become a greater version of yourself too. And what I'd say is if you're a man that doesn't feel so confident within yourself, just look up things online of how to be more confident. Like I say, something to help me with it massively. If you don't know about this, do research into it. I'm not gonna talk about it, but look into the no fap movement because people that are doing things that they recommend abstaining from on this no fap movement, I could tell you it's one of the best things on my journey that I started years and years and years ago, naturally before even finding out about this. And it just started to massively boost my esteem within myself and my confidence levels and just started to just make me feel like so strong within myself. And just, wow, just feeling so better all round. And then women would pick up on that and they really love it. Because I'm telling you now, people that aren't doing no fap and you're not abstaining from the things they mentioned in that and they're just like Pff, all the time and watching like high speed, P-O-R-N, which I'm not gonna talk about that because I could get a strike for that on my channel. 
man, you just become very like beta male-ish and phew, who really wants a beta male? There's a lot of women do, but not the high level women at all. Number two, if you're interested in a girl, even if you feel fearful, just force yourself to feel the fear and go and talk to her anyway. You don't have anything to lose. She may be open to talking to you and getting to know you, or she may not be interested at all, but at least if you tried, you knew that you had tried. And even if I've been shut down in that situation, when I do get shut down, I'm like, yes, at least I felt the fear and did it anyway. So I may not always feel the best afterwards, but it normally does actually help boost my self-confidence because if you never go towards anything, say like women, just because you're scared every time, you're never gonna meet any women. Some of them are gonna reject you, some of them you don't. So there's gonna be times where you fail with it, but you pick yourself up and you try again with another girl and another girl, and in the end, you're gonna get a girl that is definitely gonna to want to connect to you. And with those girls that do want to interact with you once you go towards them and ask to interact with them, connect with them a little bit, and then ask if they'd like to hang out anytime near in the future there and then, and they may say yes, they may say no. And then you can obviously go from there. Or there is a second option, which sometimes I've done the first thing that I just mentioned, sometimes the second, it varies depending on many different situations. So I've had it at times where I've interacted with a girl and then I've asked, can I connect to you on Facebook or some other type of social media platform? And almost pretty much, I would say, well, actually 100% of the time, they have said yes, at least for me. It's not this could be 100% of the time for you, but that's absolutely fine. And then obviously when you leave that space of interacting with them, asking them for their Facebook, then what you can do is connect to them once you've left interacting with them on Facebook. And then you could ask them through there if they'd like to hang out in the near future. Because say you would just like to connect to them further because they just seem like a nice person and you're interested in getting to know them more. Number three, when you're actually with a woman and you're interested in them, just so that you are really interested in them by striking some really a good conversations. And I'm gonna give you some examples of some questions that you could ask her. And don't just seem like you are just trying to get laid and that you're trying to just do any type of pickup artistry stuff that could just turn them off and push them away completely and just close them off. And don't talk about mundane BS like the news or the weather or some other garbage like, pfft, I wouldn't recommend that if you're trying to attract a higher level woman. I would try asking them some big questions like what brings you the most joy in life when you're doing it? What are you most passionate about? If you could manifest three things in your life, what would be the top three things? Have you traveled anywhere and would you like to travel anywhere in the future? And many other different conversational questions that you could ask them, which is what I call Big Talk. If you don't know about Big Talk, search up Big Talk on TED Talk and you can find out about that more in detail than I could explain. And this is just cutting through all the boring mundane crap and you're really just getting to know them very, very deeply and women love it when you show a real interest in them and that you're not just trying to get with them and just use them in this like sexually objectifying way at all. Because yeah, most women aren't gonna like that unless you're just getting with like girls in a bar or a club that just wanna get with you for a one night stand then yeah. Number five, you need to really remember that women need to feel as safe and secure as possible. So when you are connecting with them and they are talking to you, make sure that you are completely listening to them. And if they start to open up to you and share emotional things with you, just be present with them, hold a safe space, be empathic and compassionate to them and do what is known as nonviolent communication. If you don't know about that, do some research up on it. It's one of the best forms of conscious communication that was created by Marshall Rosenberg. It changed my life and my relationships and my connection with women and just every human being possible and just be patient. It may take a while for a woman to feel safe and secure and open up to you more and more and more. So it could then potentially go from a friendship connection into something that is more intimate than a friendship connection. So yeah, no impatience and trying to rush with them. And the more of a better empathic, compassionate listener you can be, I'm telling you, so many women are lacking this with any type of connections they have within their life, whether it's friendships, family members, or intimate relationships, or any other connections that they currently have within their life. So if you can provide this to them, this is one of the top things that is gonna make them feel really, really attracted 
to you. So I'll just give you some examples. When a woman is opening up to you, being vulnerable, sharing some emotional stuff, just listen with what is known as giraffe is that they teach in nonviolent communication and just say, I hear you. It's understandable why you feel that way. It's normal to feel that way. Anyone would feel that way in that situation. And I'm here with you and I'm present for you. And I'm here to support you fully. Do not try and fix them or make them wrong or deny their emotions whatsoever, which is what most men and most people do to other people that open up like this. The man, it just shuts them down completely and it traumatizes them and they just feel like they're being emotionally abused, which is a form of emotional abuse. And then you have just totally messed up with them opening up to you more and coming closer towards you and going more in the direction of having an intimate connection with them. Number six, so when you want a high level woman, you're more than likely gonna wanna be of a hot woman. All men are pretty much interested in the hottest women possible. So hot women are normally gonna want hot looking men. So what you can do to make yourself as physically attractive as you possibly can is do some sort of exercise regime that helps develop your body. No, you do not need to be like a huge mass monster like these pro bodybuilders who take steroids and other different substances that just makes it really unhealthy. A lot of women that I talk to are actually are not that keen on men that are very, very muscular. So just do it so you don't look weak and frail. You don't need to be absolutely jacked up, but have just like good all round muscle development and just a really physically fit body. And then what you want to do is make yourself look as radiant and as healthy as possible. Because men that just look really unhealthy and look like they have a low immune system and they don't look like they're thriving at all, it's just not very attractive to a woman whatsoever. And as we know, with men and women, what is the first thing that attracts us to the opposite sex? It is the physical external appearance. Obviously we don't want to just base it on that whatsoever. Yes, that's a good thing that it attracts us in that way. It's just meant to happen. It, our mating program just wants us to attract someone that is as healthy as possible, has the best immune system, so then we can mate with them and have the healthiest offspring possible. Even if you don't want them or not, we've still got that mechanism within us and you cannot avoid it. So how can you make yourself look as youthful as possible and as healthy and as vibrant and vital as possible? Just do as many different things that's gonna give you those types of benefits. So eating a diet that is a healthy diet, there's many different ones out there. You could do your research up online about these. Start drinking liquids that are very good for you, such as pure water, start removing all of the chemical processed foods and drinks. Like I said, do training consistently, get adequate amount of sleep, take supplements that help optimize testosterone and other hormone production within the body because this is one of the main things that really start to make males look very unhealthy as they get older is their hormone production starts to decline due to many different reasons and supplementation can be one of the best things to help regulate and optimize your hormone production so you can have high levels of hormones being produced such as when you were younger so then you can just look as healthy as you possibly can. Number seven, and I want you to think about this. Do you think a high level woman would be attracted more to a, a man that is all the things that i am just talked about and all the other ones I'm gonna mention about? Do you think she'd be more attracted to one that is poor and has hardly any money or no money whatsoever or a man that is very wealthy, rich and financially stable? Obviously she's gonna go for the second one. So do whatever you need to do to become financially stable. I have managed to do this with myself over the years and it's like, if you wanna make it happen, you can make it happen because there's many people I've been aware of, men out there that have either had nothing or not a lot or even been homeless and then they've gone on to be like multi-billionaires or making six figures a year or just having a lot of income so they can be financially abundant. And when I'm saying be financially abundant, you don't wanna do it so you just attract gold diggers like these really old rich men that just attract women that just with them for their money whatsoever. That's not what we're going for at all and that's not what I'm going for either. And there's many different reasons as to why women would be attracted to a man that is more financially abundant. But one of the things, whether you're aware of it or they're not aware of it as well, is they want someone that can provide for them. No, they don't necessarily just want to not work at all and you pay for everything. But if you was in the future to go ahead and have children with them, then you'd be able to support your wife 
and your family fully. So that is just one reason. But like I said, even if, well, I add on to what I said a minute ago, even if you don't want a child and she doesn't want a child, your mating program still has that effect on you that can make you drawn to someone financially for that reason, if you're not even gonna go ahead with having children in the future. And also, if you're attracting a woman and you start to be in a long-term intimate connection with them, and you have like almost no money, you can never take them out on dates, you can't do nice things, there's gonna be more stress in your life, you're gonna be more stressed out, and it's gonna have a negative effect on you as a person, and it's just not gonna make you the happiest person and best person that you could possibly be. And obviously the better, you are as a person in many different ways, the more you're gonna attract a woman that you're interested in. And number eight, and I'm just completely naturally like this like so easily, is be passionate about specific things that you are interested in. And if you don't know what you're passionate about, find things that you could be passionate about, start focusing a lot of time and energy into them, become very knowledgeable on them, and then make them your passions. And then when you meet women that you're interested into, start talking to them about things that you're passionate about and be really enthusiastic and be very powerful with your voice. Not that I intentionally do this, but when I'm really passionate about something, it's just like, whoa, I just become so excited and my voice change and it just has such a positive effect on just how I interact and how my body language is and women really pick on that. But make sure when you go to talk about things that you're passionate about to a specific woman that you're interested in, start to talk about it. And just what I would say is actually, just ask her if she's interested in the things you're passionate about. And if she is, then start to talk about it in depth. Because if you don't find that before and they're not interested in it, they could become very bored and disinterested in you very, very fast. But if they're not, and then you start to talk about them and they're so passionate about them, they can really pick up on how passionate you are about it. And you can really have these types of interactions where you're just bouncing off each other and it just makes you feel so both alive and it just gets you to connect in a deeper way. And by doing this, it's just allowing you to both feel more connected to each other and then naturally the woman is definitely gonna be more attracted to you. Because I'm telling you now, high level women, if they're around a male that's very apathetic and they've got nothing going on in their life, they're not very passionate about anything, they haven't got much to talk about at all, they're just gonna become very disinterested. I'm not saying you need to be one of these people to just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk about what you're passionate about and these other things because you should feel comfortable with silence within yourself on your own and whilst you're with other people as well. But there's always like this happy balance between the two. Number nine, which is the start of this one is gonna sound very similar to number two, but please stay with me. Make an effort, a conscious effort, to go out of your way to hang out of her and actually, when you go and hang out with her, don't go and try and hang out with loads of friends at the same time, especially if you're trying to get to know her more intimately. Ask to hang out one-on-one -on -one at specific places that you would both like to hang out. Say she's into nature, then hanging out and doing a trail walk or going to a waterfall or a beach could be a very, very good idea. And I'm telling you now, when you're hanging out with them, do not use your phone whatsoever or act in ways where you just feel distracted, bored, or disinterested. Because if you're doing that, they're just gonna pick up on that and then they're gonna start to feel completely disinterested in you. And a lot of women can find it rude as well, and I do. If I'm around someone and they start using their phone, I start to be like, oh, okay. You don't seem to be really wanting to interact with me that much. You don't seem that interested. And then, yeah, I'm just like, okay, don't bother with me at all. I'm not gonna bother with you then at all. But yeah, what I wanna add on to that, say a girl starts to do some of those things to you, then it could be a sign that they're not interested in you. And if you start to spend more and more time with them and they keep doing it time and time again, uh, I would just say like, in most situations, it's just best to say, okay, you're not bothering to put in as much effort as me, you're not interested in me, you don't necessarily need to say this to them. You could do if you want to and do radical. Honestly, if you don't know about that, you can look into that online. But yeah, there's no point in wasting your time on people that just aren't giving you an equal exchange because it's just not exactly what you're looking for whatsoever and it's not what I'm looking for either. So don't bother wasting your time with people like that. Number 10, be as aware as you possibly can of their body language and how their voice may change at times as well when interacting with you and just any other 
telltale signs that could show that she's interested in you. And before I go into some of the examples of how you may be able to pick up on if she's interested in you or not through the things that I've just mentioned is, you're not gonna be able to work this out with every single girl. Some girls are just more reserved and a little bit shy and timid, which is absolutely fine. And some of them, a lot of the time, I have found as well, once I started to be intimate with them, they didn't realize that I was interested in them at all. So if you don't see some of these things, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are not interested in you or whatsoever. So that is just something to remember. So some of the examples of her being interested in you, she could start biting her lip. She may start to, when she's sitting next to you, start to turn her body and face towards you more rather than turn her back or be to the side. She may start moving closer towards you. She may even start to give you direct eye contact that is just not a quick glance where she's just looking at you for quite some time, maybe in silence or whilst she is talking to you. Or she may even start to give you some light touch. So you may be talking and she might just like touch you here now and again or here or here. Or this is a really, really good one, which I've seen time and time again happen with me and it's a really good sign for me, is when you meet them or when you go to leave the meet up that you've had with her and you go to hug her, she's receptive to hugging you and she hugs you with a very big hug that she's holding you quite close. And it's not just one of these hugs where they're lightly hugged around you, not really close to you, and they just pull away or my straight away. It's a clear sign that they're not interested in you or whatsoever. But it's just one of these more deeper, intimate connections that can actually last for quite some time. And one last thing that I want to add on to number 10 is you may not have to pick up on their body language or whatsoever. I've had it a few different times where I may have just randomly bumped into a girl or be in a social setting with friends and some girl talks to me and we talk for a few minutes and then I have to leave. And then I've asked to connect with them further online through Facebook or other social media platforms and pretty much every single time they've said yes. And then I've gone away and then I normally message them that night or the next day. And yeah, quite a few times when I've done that, I just have girls that just keep wanting to interact with me, loads. So send me one message, I reply, I reply, and then I start to ask them some in-depth questions, and I might even flirt a little bit and show some interest that makes them a bit more aware of if I'm interested in them. And then they just start doing it as well. And it's just like this really, really good interaction where it's just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And it just starts to become very clear and evident that they're interested in you. This is what I did with the girlfriend that I currently have at the moment. My friend introduced me to this girl. I spoke to her a few minutes. I had to meet some other person. Soon after, I asked to connect with her via Facebook. She said yes. When I was about to leave, she gave me a very, very big long hug. And there was some other things where we had interacted briefly. I was like, hmm, seems like she may be single and interested in me. And then, yeah, we connected on Facebook after that. And we were just like sending message back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And she said that she was very eager to meet up. She wanted to meet the next day. And it was just very clear and obvious that she wanted to start connecting me. And I said I was looking for someone to get some physical touch needs met and just be close with someone. She said she was looking for that as well. So it was just very obvious. So that can happen. So yeah, that's something to be aware of. And there is some other things that I could possibly share with you, but I think they are the most main important steps that I have done over my journey to attract many different amazing females to have intimate connections with. And yeah, I'm someone that just doesn't want connections where it's just based on physical appearance or just because they're financially abundant or some other reasons that are just very superficial or egotistical. I am always looking for a female to have an intimate connection with that's very in alignment with me and very compatible with me so I can have some sort of a long term, really, really good intimate connection with them because that's just what I'm looking for. You may not be looking for that, but I know a lot of people are. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like the video down below. Give us a thumbs up. Please share this with anyone else you think like to hear about many different ways that they could go about attracting a high level woman to have an intimate connection with. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos like this from me on a regular basis. Videos also talking about my life and my lifestyle and what's going on in my life, what I eat and what I do in the day 
videos, calisthenics, workout and progression videos, motivational and inspirational videos, and many other videos that can teach you very valuable information that can help you go in the direction to gain and maintain the body you desire, the fitness levels, the energy levels, the connections, even the job that you want or the dream partner or other things in your life that you just dream of creating within your life and within yourself. So if this type of video sounds good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So that's it from me, so enjoy your day, make the most of the day and just seize the day fully and just go towards creating more of what you desire within your life and within yourself you can live the most happiest, fulfilling life possible. Like I have managed to many other people that follow my information consistently over time to get those results and many other amazing life transformative benefits as well. So yeah, catch you on the flip side. Peace.